So what does he decide to do? He decides to, in the morning, clean out his locker and move on. And, and that's fine. I have no problem with him doing it. But let's be honest with what it is, all right? What it is is he wasn't playing. He didn't like his role, all right? So he, what did he do? He quit his team. Now, I can, I, all this brotherhood stuff, I see you wearing that fancy brotherhood sweatshirt today. And I understand that. Whoa, but whoa, 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 give me your argument. I didn't even say anything I, yet. Give me your argument. I didn't I even say anything. All, we give all this brotherhood stuff. But here's the deal. That was a nice, shiny New York City PR statement that came out of Duke. And that's fine. Here's the deal. The guy, the guy quit his team. Now, whether he, whether he was going to play or not, what he should have done is said, you know what? I'm not right. All right? I don't feel healthy. You've got the, a world-class medical center and world-class doctors right in Durham that could take care of you. I'm not right, but I'm going to stick with my guys. I'm going to come and suit up in terms of put on my, my travel sweat, sit on the bench, be with my brothers. But you know what? I can't help our team in the condition I'm in now. So I've got to take a step back. The other thing is, let's face it, Jay, you know it as well as anyone because you've seen it. You're close to a lot of these kids. All right. There's so much pressure on these one and done kids. There's so much unrealistic expectation. They, they think just walking from high school to college and if you just walk in and all of a sudden you become the guy. Well, it's just not easy. And that jump from the college to the NBA, the world's most exclusive club, is that much more difficult. I think – all of a sudden, he was shocked. This is a lot harder than it, it, it looked like. Hey, you know what? This is not that easy. My numbers aren't what they were supposed to be. I'm seeing my draft stock maybe potentially drop. I'm going to protect myself by quitting. Now, if he didn't feel like he was playing enough, if he felt like his draft status was going down, if he wasn't playing to stay there next year, you have to do everything in your power to conserve and actually dictate what that narrative is. I think that's important. It may not make it right from what we like to see in college basketball because I understand what the brotherhood is and, you know, the, the fighting that I have in my family. I get that. But it, it's, a, it's a different age and different day, and he has to do what's best for him. I, I was told, hey, Jay, I, Look, I 100% agree with you on that. I 100% agree he's got to do what's best for him. Here's the deal. I'm an NBA general manager. I'm an NBA general manager. All right? And yes, I you're considering that. You're, you're, you're taking that into the fact. Yes, you're factoring that into your decision. Uh, yes. No doubt about it. And and he basically wasn't playing winning basketball. All right. That's just that's plain and simple. So he's this is and by the way, he's not gonna be the first guy that does this. You're gonna see this in the next three weeks. It is basically the end of the seasons can become the college bowl season. So he's he's the first one to do it, but it's gonna become the college bowl season. Two things are gonna happen, Jay. Well, tell me if I'm wrong or right here. You're gonna see either guys that Still have eligibility. Aren't NBA players are going to opt out, put their name in the transfer portal, and get ahead of the curve. That's going to happen in the next three weeks. Teams that are not in running for the NCAA tournament. And you're going to see guys that say, wait a second, Jalen Johnson did this. Uh, he's trying to protect himself. The problem is, what is Jalen Johnson protecting? Because the manner in which he did this and how he did this, if, why was he playing the last two games? If he was not 100%. What? Why did he step on the court the last two games? But, Seth, here, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what he's protecting. All that matters is that he, he chose to protect what he wants to protect. And at the end of the day, that's his own prerogative. I, I don't think the narrative will be following Jalen Johnson that he's a quitter. I think if you want to take into account how does this young man deal with adversity, I, I think you can use those data points to factor into your decision on whether or not you want to draft him or how he handles playing in you know, amidst hard competition – I think that's a narrative, but I, I don't. I wouldn't make the narrative that he's quitting. No, no, he's, not, he's not quitting on his team. He's making a business what decision. What would you say he's doing? He's making a business decision to take care of his family. We all know his his goal when he went to Duke was to get out of there after one year. He's had some ni injuries. He's been nicked up and banged up, coach, and you know this. And, and and the best thing for him to do is preserve his body right now. And you say there's going to be other guys that opt out. They should if they're not going anywhere. Absolutely. Absolutely 100%, because guess what? Coach K can't promise you that you're going to have an opportunity to take care of your family. He can't, he can't promise you that, that you're going to stay healthy. But what you can do is promise yourself you can stay healthy by not putting yourself in harm's way. Seth, let me ask you this. With the way he's playing, because I've been watching a lot of games and I've been deep into college basketball, not to your degree, but close. Um, what, ha what has been happening to Jalen Johnson's draft status over the last couple of weeks, months? Yet again, I, I would think it's dropping because, you know, quite honestly, here's, yes. his, here's his game. He doesn't guard anyone. He's loose with the basketball. 
He's an inconsistent three-point shooter. What he is, is he's a prospect or a suspect. He's got a little bit of yes. a floor game. He's got legitimate transferable size. In the new NBA, obviously, you can make him a positionless four if you want, if he can shoot it a little bit more consistently. He's a freaky athlete. But here's the deal, Jay Will, and, 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 and this, is the, this is the thing. What the data that they have on him now is obviously pure speculation because the data they have on him now is he's, he's not competitive. He couldn't play in the end of the game against Notre Dame because he wasn't competitive. He, he turned the ball over the first three times he touched the ball. I mean, the reality is that the way he's playing the game, he's not a winning player. So, like, is it Listen, NBA let me tell you how I look at this. Lottery pick if... going to risk a, a lottery pick on a guy that's an if? I don't know. Maybe they do. I mean, look, I, the NBA is all but about. If, I, if I'm, but if I'm an agent, if I'm Rich Paul, if I'm somebody representing him, I'm saying, look, by you playing, you are losing your position in the draft. We have to keep that mystique about you, and we have to focus on what you can do instead of being exposed. Now, a lot of things have changed this year. We're in the midst of a pandemic. You're coming back from an injury. If there's a way out, we have to start building your narrative towards getting you higher in the draft or at least keeping you stable. And that's not happening while you're playing at Duke. Your draft status is going the opposite way. I'm just trying to tell you I have a business perspective. Yeah, you will no. look at this trying to position your player in the best possible position for the draft. And the other side of the business is those NBA teams saying you went to three high schools. So, All right. The other yeah. thing will be, say, he's playing for a Hall of Fame coach. The other thing people that will probably say is that, all right, why didn't he play? Why didn't K put him in a game? Now, look, he's going to go to a workout. They're, not, they're going to make sure his workout is no contact, and he's going to do freaky athletic things. But that organization is going to have to say, all right, can I win with him? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.